16th as you can see my room looks a mess again because we had to start going through all of the other boxes and then i also kind of cleared off my dresser i put my purse that i got for christmas i opened up a bunch of my perfumes that i had in boxes still i don't know why i keep the packaging of my perfumes basically cleared off everything i have all my snacks and stuff over there looks pretty good this is a little basket that i'm going to use to film my hygiene video so that's just like all my hygiene products i have some random miscellaneous stuff over there but overall it looks pretty good like i still need to wipe it down so that it's actually a clean surface i have a bunch of stuff like i have the baby's basket full of all her new clothes and products and stuff that i bought for her i need to go through these two random boxes this whole bin is stuff that i'm giving away or i'm gonna sell donate i think my dad is actually gonna sell it for me so if you guys want the link to his shop you guys can buy some of my old stuff that i'm like getting rid of huge big gray bin just full of like clothes makeup skincare jewelry just so much stuff that i'm getting rid of that i just don't need in my life anymore this little basket full of like ordinary products i'm pretty sure so i don't know what to do with all this probably just gonna give it to my little sisters and then if they don't want it whole ass bins just full of makeup and stuff i think i'm gonna give these to my mom because i bought these from my nail tech just like a whole bunch of old makeup old foundation sunglasses just stuff that got sent to me that i never really used i feel like these shirts are actually cute but they just don't really fit my aesthetic anymore and also like i'm gonna become a mom and i just don't need all of the excessive clothing and excessive products and stuff definitely still need to go through this this is like my shoe rack mixed with like my little clear shoe boxes i think i'm gonna get rid of the clear shoe boxes because they take up a lot of space and then over here these are all products that i'm keeping out because these are like my everyday like just self-care hygiene products that i use that's all makeup that i need to go through to see if i'm going to keep it or not and then these little bins are full of skincare and like hair care products and this is all stuff that doesn't fit me anymore but i'm still going to keep for after like i lose all the baby weight and everything so yeah and then as you guys seen i cleared off these two cubbies i'm going to take all this stuff out but i just had to put it just so i could clear off my bed last night I have some diapers that I bought. I don't know why I bought a size 2. As if my baby's gonna be born into a size 2 or something. Then I have like my camera, some hair rollers, some pregnancy clothes. Just a bunch of stuff up there. But I'm gonna take all that out. I'm probably also gonna clear out these two little cubbies tonight. Just to make sure everything looks clean. I wanna take off all these posters and these old little LED lights right here. Because these are just so unnecessary. Like they do not need to be cluttering up my room like this. So I'm gonna pull all these down. And then probably put up some new wall decor. Just something really simple basic good morning y'all welcome back to another video today we're gonna be shopping for my baby shower outfit i'm so excited because i've been looking forward to this all week but i just put on a face mask right now this is just kind of like purify my pores and make my skin look smoother i've had it on for probably like 20 minutes now i'm gonna wait a little bit longer then i'm gonna wash it off in the shower i look like a grease ball I've been cleaning and reorganizing and rearranging my whole entire room for the past like two or three days and it looks so good like let me tell you how good it feels to have a clean room <sighs> like why didn't you guys tell me to do this sooner you guys don't remember my dresser was over here and then my bed was right here my room looks completely different now and then also my dad installed a little curtain hanger so that i can have curtains too i'm gonna get into the shower and wash off this face mask and just do a quick body rinse and everything we're gonna go to my baby appointment to check if i'm dilated because apparently that's what we're doing now about to be 37 weeks and i didn't know that they already are supposed to start checking like your cervix if you're dilated ooh, you already know i'm about to bust out these dazzled pink victoria's secret yoga leggings like duh these pants fit me so good it's actually like the only thing that fits me okay you guys we're setting up the baby shower right now we have all these little tables and then we're putting like some greenery and these little oh and these little bears oh hi <laughs> okay. oh my gosh did you just get here yeah they hated the vlog yeah. harmony just got here to help oh <laughs> this was alexis's job to get the teddy bears <laughs> oh they're bringing in the balloons hi oh my gosh so cute we got some greenery with esther show your cute little outfit she's eating some french fries right now she has the cutest little outfit on <laughs> Cute little trees right here. So beautiful. The flower wall. We have this beautiful flower wall with the little baby letters. And this setup is my cousin's setup. Okay, 
guys, we're in Koreatown, I think. Oh, Tokyo Town. We're in Little Tokyo at the moment. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. San Rio. <gasps> Little Tokyo characters. It's so cute. We found mochi, but we don't know how to eat it because we're uncultured swines. You're supposed to be. But we're in the Japanese grocery store. Oh my god, that's so. It's, yeah, fuck you, Nestle. <laughs> Are you gonna get snacks? Wait, this isn't the snack I know. This is the snackies. Look how dirty my sweater is, and I was really just gonna record like that. Okay, so basically right now, I'm going to be packing my hospital bags. I have a diaper bag for the baby and then my hospital bag, which is just going to have postpartum stuff, clothes for me, my skincare, my makeup. Just everything that I think I'm going to need for a couple days, I'm going to pack in here. This is going to be like my overnight sleepover bag at the hospital. And yeah, I really wanted to record this because I can't find my camera for some reason and it's really pissing me off. So I think I'm going to have to go to Best Buy and get a new camera because I genuinely... <sighs> can't find it anywhere honestly i've been wanting to try out a different camera anyways from sony so i'm probably gonna go pick that up tomorrow with my mom after my baby appointment but yeah so we're gonna start packing our bags because i've been feeling some really crazy contractions i've never been pregnant before so i don't know if they're braxton hicks or if they're actual contractions that sh it hurt i was like literally in bed like tearing up and i was like this cannot be what a contraction feels like because i can't do this <laughs> I really just can't, like, that shit hurt really bad. Oh, why is she kicking me? Don't do too much. Okay, so yeah, this is my hospital bag. I got it from Amazon. I think it's really cute, honestly. It also comes with this little bag. It just looks like this, and it just, like, has the same little imprint on it. I put on these little, these little hair clips. I don't know if I'm actually going to take these, but I just put them on there because I don't know if I had anywhere else to put them. So yeah, this is my little bag. I picked it out super quickly because I realized that I didn't have a hospital bag or a diaper bag. So I just picked them out really quickly. The first thing is actually for the baby. I got these for my baby shower. It was like a baby shower gift and these don't fit in my diaper bag. So I just threw it in my bag because I'm still going to need them. And then I just got some random like pajama clothes. I'm bringing this t-shirt because it's so comfortable i really just want to be comfortable do not care about looking cute when i'm giving birth i'm not really bringing stuff that's like super cute but then i'm bringing these pink little flared leggings just because these are comfortable honestly just anything stretchy is comfortable to me because a bitch is big my stomach is humongous there's some other little trouser pants that i'm bringing they're really loose fitting so they're gonna be super comfortable especially like right after i give birth i'm gonna throw these on these just look the most comfortable and tempting to me my mom said to bring a bunch of socks so i'm bringing a bunch of like really fuzzy comfortable socks that i got for christmas bringing some little regular some regular ankle socks and my mom also got me some of these for my baby shower she got me some compression ankle socks so these should really help with like the swelling in my feet because my feet are so swollen i'm literally like two sizes bigger in my feet because my feet are so fat and swollen who was gonna tell me like that is like the craziest thing i think about pregnancy is how big my lips my feet my hands just everything got so swollen even my jawline i'm like where did my jawline go are you serious deliza straight snatched she straight snatched it from me. Why did you take my doll? I forgot I was showing you guys what's in my bag. A lot of people actually recommended this. This is the Freedom Mom Upside Down Peri Bottle. And this is supposed to help with like after you give birth and just like using the restroom. I'm so scared for that pain. But you gotta do what you gotta do to make a human. I'm also gonna bring some of my little coconut oil. Skin Therapy Oil by Palmer's because this is really good for stretch marks. I feel like I'm just gonna wanna use it after I give birth because I've been really consistent on this lately. But this is like a brand new bottle that i haven't opened i have more in my bathroom already i'm just gonna bring a little brush because can't have crusty hair or else you guys are gonna be in my comments bullying me 
I'm also gonna bring this little hair wrap just to wrap my hair up at night. I know I am gonna have to stay the night. I don't know how many nights specifically. I think I'm just gonna wrap my hair up at night to protect it and everything because I take my hair care very seriously. Pretty much just packed up a bunch of stuff that I use on the daily. I haven't packed my skincare or my makeup or hair care or any of that yet. Probably gonna do that at the very end just because I don't know. I'm probably not gonna need a lot of it. Like literally just like a moisturizer, a deodorant, little stuff like that. I don't think I'm gonna pack up my whole house like I usually do. Then I'm gonna have to carry it out and unpack it when I have a whole ass baby in my room. I don't know, I'm just trying to think ahead so that I'm not stressed out and like I don't have to deal with a bunch of stuff when I get back from the hospital. So yeah, this is my hospital bag. I packed it up like halfway, but I still need to throw a couple more things in there. Honestly, I'm so excited to give birth. Like, girl, when are you coming? When are you coming? Like, let me know, let me know. You can really tell she's ready to come out because she's been kicking me like crazy. I've been having so many cramps and like Braxton Hicks and stuff. She's, she's gonna, gonna be here, here any day. day. Getting bigger by the minute i'm looking a little emo right now so as you can tell i just woke up from my doctor's appointment i thought it was at 10 40 so i got up really quickly and i thought i was late but it's actually at 11 40 so i have a little bit of time to get ready i'm just gonna get dressed and probably throw on some skincare i don't think i'm gonna do my makeup because it's just a really quick baby appointment we're gonna go to best buy my mom's gonna take me and we're gonna go look for a new camera i already have in mind what type of camera i've been wanting to get but just in case they don't have that i might look for something new i really don't know i just really want a camera right now it's been so long since i've seen my last camera and it's really stressing me out like i literally just bought this camera this is the sony zv one f this was only 500 dollars, but it literally broke it was worth pretty much nothing because i only got like two videos out of it before it actually broke and i had just bought it like can you believe that good the morning, morning. <laughs> crazy hairness say hi baby say hi to the baby maya maya and my mom are matching today so cute they have their little matching flannels maya where's the baby mama okay hold this okay She's where's the baby bye <laughs> You guys so cute in your matching outfits. We're at this little breakfast, lunch, like diner cafe. Just looking for something to eat. They have a lot of different stuff. Loud self with my mom and Maya beer. I think I'm just gonna get the French toast combo with two eggs and two bacon. I really wanna go to Best Buy and we need to hurry and eat. She's getting chicken fried steak and we're gonna get her a little something. I'm at Best Buy looking for a new camera. The one I'm gonna get is this one and just switch out the lens later on. Oh yeah, I'll buy that for you. Maya, you got yourself a Squishmallow? Oh, pick that up. Hey guys, we're about to do the flower milk bath photo shoot with Marianne Lucas Photography. Get in and your head over here. Let's your hair right away. here. Okay, go ahead. Ah! You got a slide down. Pop one leg. Ah, it's getting the flower. You okay with greenery too? Yeah, bad. Yeah, bad. Ever since I've been trying to get it back, you pick it up, put it back. Now I'm something like the chemist on campus. Okay, bring your hand. Don't touch your hair. You gotta just turn your head this way a little bit. Perfect, just like that. And babe, switch out one of those for one of these. Guys, I know you. lovely hair mask i actually put it in like three hours ago i do want to show you guys what i've been using because for some reason my face has been looking so much more clear than it usually does i've been using this aloe vera gel from amazon and it's been working so good on my skin i've also been using this which actually works really well on my skin surprisingly for some reason i thought this was gonna break me out because a lot of people on tiktok say that snail mousse and stuff started to break them out i was like fully expecting to have a little breakout and then for it 
to eventually become clear. I don't know what is in this stuff, but it works so good. So I think I'm going to put this one on after the shower. And then I already put some of this on this morning. I did a hair mask like three, four hours ago. I put it in like right when I woke up. Firstly, I put some of this hair food in my hair. I don't know what this is. And then to mixing it, I used some of this refined avocado oil. And I also mixed it with this oil by Paul Mitchell. And I just mixed it in my hands and I put it all over like my lengths. Hey y'all! Just in case I have to go into like emergency labor or anything because I've been having really bad headaches and like really bad feet swelling. They took my blood, wait, they took my blood, checked my cervix, I'm two centimeters dilated. We don't know if they're gonna admit me, what do you think? I don't know. We'll find out soon. Like, as y'all can see, my face is so swollen, and that's like one of the common symptoms of preeclampsia is you just get puffy everywhere. But they're like checking my baby's heartbeat and everything. Make sure she's breathing good. Set up right here. You know when you do that TikTok and you're all dancing in the background because you ain't the one having the baby? Okay, you guys, it's currently probably like 7, 20, 7, 30. We've been in here for like an hour, two hours, and they're finally going to get back to us about the yes. blood work and everything. So hopefully... He's leaving soon. Yeah, hopefully everything's good, and I don't have preeclampsia, and I'm just swelling. We've been here for a long time. I've been having, like, mini contractions. I can tell they're not really that painful. She's talking about they're going to get way worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a baby. Not me. <laughs> She's gonna have a love her already. She came all dripped up. <laughs> We're finally about to leave the room. Because, yeah, I don't have preeclampsia. They said that there's no reason for them to keep me here. So, hi. Oh, I feel so big right now. Right now, we are heading back to the hospital because I have to check again if I have preeclampsia. Hello? Say Hey. So right now we're at Walmart about to get some stuff for the nurse baskets. I'm gonna look for some stuff for these Valentine's Day presents. I don't really know about any of this stuff. Oh, my first Valentine's Day bib. These are soft. Okay, should I get one for Maya too? That's Ooh. for a dog. Wait. For Maya? Yo, she wants to get this for Maya. <laughs> for a dog? No way, dude. No, I don't think so. It's not even for Valentine's Day, but yeah. Dude, I really don't think so because we're gonna get this for our baby. Ooh. Little gummy bears, dude. Have you seen these little gummy bears? I feel like I should get these right now. These are candies. Oh, these are cute. Some little treat boxes. Okay, bad bitches. Right now we're looking for some underwears. I think I'm just gonna get these ones because these ones are. Are these even cotton though? I'm gonna look for some underwears. Probably gonna get some socks too. Oh, these ones are cute. Still, um, hold on. Wait, I don't like the way these are cut. Dude, why is underwear shopping so hard? This is my final choice, y'all. Fruit of the Loom. I think I'm gonna get these. We got some socks, some underwears. We don't know which ice cream to get because there's so many good flavors. I usually really like rainbow sherbet, but I think I'm gonna get cookies and cream. Ew! No. Cotton candy is so basic. I it's a I personal, so that means you don't touch it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we're getting Vicky Rainbow Sherbet. We're gonna do a mini haul for you guys. So we're gonna get this bib for our baby. It says my first Valentine. And then I'm getting this for like my postpartum care because I'm gonna need this just in case I give birth vaginally. And we got some little peanut M&M candies. And we got a bunch of these things because he said that they were good. So I got some of them for my family for Valentine's Day for their little basket things got some bananas and then we got some chocolate chip muffins these are literally my favorite alexis got these cookies getting some ice cream some socks we got so much unhealthy sh what is this oh boxers we got some donuts we got these little valentine's day takeout boxes some chippies and we got more of these little blow pop mini candy things and i got these this is so cute this little like jolly rancher bites heart thing found a gummy cluster one i'm probably honestly gonna eat this for myself because these are so good and then alexis found these some little brats like jamma sleeper pants so me and alexis are gonna get them to match she also found these some freaking noodle ones got these for my mom some some little active comfort socks some of these and yeah so that's pretty much my haul of everything that we got some of this stuff is alexis's too does she and does she not use it well it's like ugly it's like 
Let's use this. Ew. Ew. Nobody, <laughs> to use the Nobody wants to use that. Okay, we're gonna get this for Maya because she's learning how to potty train. Maya's a little late, so we're gonna get her this. Yep, like, Maya. Wow. Her healthy grind. Don't let all these chips deceive you. Fine. All these damn groceries for $223. Forgot we got Maya's little potty trainer set. Get us doing the hard work. Cut the camera. What is that? What is that? Catch you. Oh no! You guys, it's flooding in Tachapi. Currently 48 hours until I deliver this baby. Personally, I don't even know what to think right now. Today is actually my due date. It's February 7th on a Wednesday. We went to Walmart and I just picked up some of these little baby bottles. I just wanted to get some like cute and colorful ones that would be like easy to clean. It's just like a bunch of these cute little colorful bottles. I honestly think they're really perfect for like a newborn. They're like this perfect little little small size i am gonna try to breastfeed so these are gonna be perfect for just like switching over the milk and also sterilizing the bottles i think these are gonna be easier i also just got my new baby monitor i don't know when i'm gonna have time to set this up to be honest so i should probably do it right now what is this oh this is the little camera and it has like this little antenna in the back <gasps> Oh my god, that is so cute. I also ordered so many other things from Amazon the other day because I just realized there's so much stuff I forgot to get. Okay, this is where the bassinet is gonna go. Oh my god, stop playing. This actually works. Look. Well, I just got a new lens in the mail. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys have the same camera as me. But I think it actually works a little bit. It makes my footage look a little bit more wide angle. Right now, we just went and got some food. We got some iced coffee from Wendy's. I got like a spicy chicken nugget meal. She got herself a little salad. I got my salad because New Year knew me. She's on her healthy era. Can't relate. Once I'm not pregnant, I'm definitely going to be back on my healthy shit. In the gym, all that. You eat for two. Yeah, I'm eating for two right now. Parmesan, chicken Caesar salad. I just got a bunch of packages from Amazon. Most of them have to do with like the baby. Just setting up stuff for my baby when she's born in like an hour. I mean, <laughs> in like 24 hours. I'm just going to show you guys everything I got. Okay, we're going to try out the coffee. Okay, you guys, taste test over. This is a really sweet drink. It kind of tastes like, um, what is it, horchata? Horchata? Because we're matching PJs too. Alexis Ew. bought me some from Walmart. If you guys want to match with this. No, you can't. No, but these are actually so comfortable. She got us some little batch ones and they feel so good. I think today we're going to have an editing party and also a laundry day party because I need to get so much laundry done before I have to get induced at the hospital because I have no outfits. Like, I'm literally going to show up looking a mess if I don't do some laundry right now. I'll just see you guys later then. That little thing in front of the screen not bother you. It's currently 6.43 and we're going to head into Best Buy so that we can both find a tripod. I need a mini tripod and she needs a big tripod. I might get some other stuff, but I don't really need anything like tech related. So we might just go there to look around a little bit. And my dad's truck currently because my car is unsafe to drive right now. <laughs> we're outside Best Buy right now.